Dante Wagner with Tayshawn Gibson. When you sign here and you pick that number 31, did you think of me? First thing I thought, man, I thought of Whit, man. Oh, <laughs> uh, when I got that 31, I said, God, they done gave me the 31, man. I got some big shoes to fill, but uh, you know, I tried to go 39. They said, hey man, that number retired. How does it feel to show people that you are still one of the top safeties in the league? It's a blessing, Whit, man. Like, you know, getting to this point in your career, man, where a lot of people look at you either, uh, you know, just like that veteran presence, not more so just a contributor on the field, but you know, that veteran presence, man, to go out there and be able to say, man, year 11, I still can go out here with the young guys, man. You know, Huff keep me young out there, man, keeping up with his energy. So it's just a blessing nonetheless to be able to go out there and do what I love doing. And I had this opportunity right now, man, to be in this defense. Speaking of Huff, I see you like to give up like a lot of charity. <sighs> You know, I think you gave him two interceptions this year that you, I know, but the Gip, I know, he, he, he should have about five interceptions you know the young right Gip, now. Man. The young Gip should have about five picks right now. True story. Speak about who Funga and, you know, him being here to capitalize yeah. on some of those things. Man, you know, honestly, the dude energy is just crazy. And I, I go back to a story, man, i never forget when you signed. I hit you up on Twitter. The first thing you said, man, is you, your job is to get me to the Pro Bowl. I'm going to make you play at a high level. And, um, you know, I tell people that story all the time, man. Mark my words, man, you, you elevated my game, man, to be able to play at that Pro Bowl level, just to share a field with you, man. You know the respect that I got for you. So, you know, the first thing I told Huff, man, when they said, hey, you're going to be a starter, Huff will pick my brain, man. I told him I seen it in him. I said, man, you're going to be the best safety in the league. And when you ask him, he'll tell you. I said, man, my job, when I seen him move, I said, my job, man, is to get you where you're trying to go. I asked him what his goals was. He said, man, I just want to get to a Pro Bowl. I said, man, that's going to be the least of your worries, dog. I'm going to make sure you're one of the best in the league. And to see it come to fruition, man, it's just a blessing to watch him unfold, man, week after week, man, play after play. Uh, such a humble kid, man, that energy, man, he want to learn, man. And it's a blessing to be able to share the field with a young guy like that, a young, hungry guy like that, man. He's going to take over here soon, man, if he haven't already. So it's just a blessing. Going into last week's game, for majority of the season, you guys have been playing lights out, locked right. in on the details. When I watched last week's game, it was simple things. It was not matching the sprint out. Yep. It was not recognizing McKinnon in a blocking situation. It's closing down gaps in the run. It's taking on blocks and how you take on a play no recognition. As a veteran, how are you helping the other guys get over that hump and be like, hey, we're still a dominant defense? I tell these guys, man, you be in this league long enough, you're going to understand, man. Never get too high, never get too low, man. You uh, you know, you playing lights out, man, the world going to love you. You have one bad game, man, they think that, you know, the end of the world is coming. And I try to tell these guys, man, never get too high, never get too low. It's a long season, man. It's a marathon. And, and, and I think that we have a mature enough group, uh, although we're young, man, we have a mature enough group to say, like, hey, these guys get it. So I think that nobody's panicking right now. Yeah, we, 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 we definitely haven't played our brand of football the last two weeks. But obviously, man, it's to get back on track week. And uh, I think the guys understand the message that we got to do. Uh, we got to go into this bye week. This is a huge game for us, man. And uh, we got to go out there and do what we need to do. Yeah, and I want to tell everybody out there, this is proof that just because you get older in the league don't mean you can't play at a high level. My man playing at a high level, and y'all need to recognize that, all right? So, you know, with age, just, you get better with age, Absolutely. right? So, I appreciate, yeah, appreciate that. I appreciate it. You know, no it's all doubt. love.